doing an old uh, classic. Jason here from The Brick Show. This is Daniel Siskins, designer of the original 2002 blacksmith shop. Wants Castlebeck. I do. We're going to make it happen whether Lego wants it or not. That's right. Watch out, Lego. We got Ryan right here, signing battle packs like a champion. This man's giving away signed instruction books. Those are worth tens of cents each. Only kings do that. <laughs> Only celebrities do that. Look at this. This man has his own line. He is, he is a celebrity. What do you have to say for yourself, Ryan? This is insane. This is beyond belief. It's kind of gotten out of control in the last couple of years. All right, that's enough of the impromptu. Oh, 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 VIP, VIP, we need to get out of here. What do you think, Eric? It's awesome. Awesome. Got a big line. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Eric's gonna have a mock here next year. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna see it. It's gonna be yes. great. It's gonna be fantastic. All right. Hey guys, it's BB202, and I just got back from Brick Fair, Virginia, 2021. This was the 10th Brick Fair that I've ever been to. The first one was in 2011, so obviously it's been quite a long time. And this was a really special one, given how there wasn't one last year, obviously. And it was just nice to get back out there again this year. And of course, you just saw the montage of obviously I got a few things while I was here. Let me show you what I got. So first off, got a couple of these promotional lanyards from Atlanta Brick Company. Here are just a few ads here. And also the 2021 Brick Fair Duplo piece. And there's a Brick Fair special Duplo or Lego piece that they make every year. Always nice getting those. So there's that. Next up, Brick Mania, mainstay, always at Brick Fair, always the first place I go to. They've got a very convenient spot right in the front of the convention center. I think they know that people flock there. And sure enough, it was pretty crowded as it always is. Also a little bit pricey, so you know I didn't clear out the shelves or anything, but I did come away with a few weapons and a set. Let's take a look at that. Got a couple of these vests right here. Uh, they've got grenades attached to them, you know, just tactical vests. We got a German printed tile, United States Army printed tile. This was a cool one. I haven't seen this before. This is a World War I German soldier helmet. You can tell by that distinctive point on the top, and that's a, that's a very cool helmet, and it's also running away from me. So <laughs> we're gonna put it back and take a look at the rest of these. Got a couple guns here. I'm not really a gun guy. I don't know the names of any of them. So, two of these up here. We've got two rifles with bayonets attached to them. That's pretty cool. I've got some regular rifles, but not ones with bayonets. And I like that a lot. Got two pistols, one more gun here, and a small cudgel of some kind, just for bashing people over the head. You gotta do that sometimes. And then we got right here an anti-tank gun. I'm pretty excited about this one. It looks pretty accurate. And 
you can see uh, on the back here just what it looks like set up. Not too big, but I think it's going to look nice in my collection. Here's Brick Forge. Unfortunately, they didn't have a full stand there this year. Otherwise, I would have been over there like white on rice. Um, I'm there every year. They make some really great night parts, especially. But they were selling little accessory packs at one of the other stands. And I got this Sepulchre Knight pack. That was a uh, crusading knight back in the Middle Ages. And we got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. This is basically an entire set of accessories to completely deck out a minifigure to look like a Crusader era knight. It's got a helmet, shoulder armor. That's a three-piece shoulder armor right there. A plume. This goes over the torso. It's kind of a breastplate, but it's also sort of cloth. Um, two little arm gauntlets right there. You have to take off the minifigure hands to put that on. This really nice shield right here and a mace in the middle that's extraordinarily well done, I would I would say. And two swords right here. I've got plenty of swords, but it never hurts to get a couple more. Again, really nice work from Brick Forge. Next up, we've got the minifigures. And just like every year, Brick Fair did not disappoint with their selection, especially when it comes to the collectible minifigures. I have noticed that Every passing year, the castle's been discontinued. The castle figures get harder to find or more expensive. This year, they were very hard to find, and the ones that I could find were going for some pretty insane prices. So I loaded up on the collectible minifigures instead, starting off with the Viking that, unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on last year, but I have now. I love this guy. He's historically accurate, really all you could ask for. I love the helmet. Um, doesn't have horns coming out of it. That is a common myth. It's also got a spear and a shield and a surprisingly soft cape as well. In front of him, we've got another pretty recent collectible minifigure. This is the Fright Knight Ghost from, I believe, about two years ago. Uh, he's got a lot of detail as well. He does have a pale blue head under that helmet. I'm not going to take it off. You know what it looks like. And he's got a translucent plume and a sword two great pieces as well as that shield which is killer and may or may not be a preview of a video that i'm coming out with not too far from now in front of him we've got this roman commander this guy was going for a pretty penny because he's pretty old and a very desirable collectible minifigure being one of the only two romans ever made again i i don't know why lego doesn't make roman sets you know it's beyond me but he's got a short sword, really nice plume, exclusive. A lot of detail on his torso as well, great figure. Finally, we've got a Royal Knight. Let's get a closer look at his shield. There it is. He was in good condition, so I decided to get him. You know, I can't go a brick fair without getting a classic minifigure, so I just got him. Probably going to end up going with my Kingdoms, guys. I don't really have too many Royal Knights, but... Whatever, pretty cool. As you saw earlier, I ran into Ryan or m and Productions and he gave me this printed tile. And also this modern day Mona Lisa, the m and Productions autographed 501st Legion Battle Pack instruction manual, which he kindly gave to me for free. Uh, no plans for this right now. I'm probably gonna end up putting it in a frame, putting it on my wall and maybe even encasing it in gold leaf. And finally, I got a dirty burp. Pretty good amount of stuff this year. Uh, once again, really nice to get back out to Brick Fair, especially after a year off. Uh, nice to see everybody again. A lot of great mocks. I hope that you enjoyed those earlier. And yeah, I'm looking forward to being back there next year. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give it a comment. I'm going to be sure to respond. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.